Hi, I'm Catherine from the CX Foundation, and welcome to our three-part series on AI orchestration. In part one, we're going to cover the basics of AI orchestration, what it is, what it's not, plus a few examples of AI orchestration in action. In part two, we're gonna give you the more technical explanation of how AI orchestration actually works. Part three, we'll talk about the benefits and best practices for successful AI orchestration. Now, of course, in my dream, you spend half your day watching these one right after the other, do a little binge watching, but I also live in reality, so they are designed to just be able to be used on their own. Before we jump in, please hit that subscribe button, share this video with your friends, and let me know in the comments what customer experience or CX adjacent topics you'd like to learn about next. Without further ado, let's talk about all things AI orchestration. So what is AI orchestration? Think about it like this. You're planning a dinner party. You find a recipe on Pinterest, you order ingredients off of Instacart, you send out invitations on Partyful, and to make sure your house looks perfect before your guests arrive, maybe there's somebody you have a crush on coming, you book a cleaning service on TaskRabbit. You also make a incredibly embarrassing Spotify playlist trying to impress somebody. So that is five different apps just for one two hour dinner party. You're manually switching between all of these apps all the time. You're manually entering your credit card information into one, then copying that credit card information and pasting it into another app. It's exhausting. It makes you wanna cancel the whole party. So what's missing is orchestration, something that makes all of these apps work together. When you're planning your dinner party, it would be great to connect all the robots representing each of these different applications. So that's what AI orchestration does, right? It facilitates a meeting of the minds between all of these different robot representatives of these applications. So AI orchestration ensures that all of these apps are working together and they're sharing data and they're doing that in real time. So when that happens, I'm saving time planning the party. I don't forget any ingredients. I get the best possible deals on the things that I'm buying. And I do not have to keep individually texting every single guest, telling them the same information, which to me is maddening. So anything that eliminates that, I will pursue it to the fullest extent of the law. I don't have to worry about anything because AI orchestration ensures that all of these robots are actually managing all the different aspects of party planning without me having to lift a finger, which is great because I'm always looking for ways to do less. So let's get a little bit deeper into the definition of AI orchestration. AI orchestration is the technical process of unifying all of the AI tools, models, workflows that you're using into one overarching AI system, right? AI orchestration is about making sure that all of the AI tools within your overall tech stack are working together to achieve a greater goal or to accomplish a task. Now, here's where a lot of people get confused, right? Because they say, well, that just sounds like integration. And you know what? You're right, partially. Integration is part of the AI orchestration process, but it's only one part of it. AI orchestration kind of takes integration to the next level because it coordinates workflow automations between all of your AI tools, and it does it without the need for human intervention, right? It's all autonomous and automatic. So AI orchestration can handle multi-intent uh, inquiries and high-level autonomous actions that would completely overwhelm a single AI app or model. Now, how's that possible, right? How do these uh, bots do that? Because thanks to AI orchestration, there's now real-time communication between all of these AI tools. And because these tools are sharing information, all of them have a much greater understanding of the entire context of the interaction. And they also have the data from prior interactions to figure out historically what has worked and what hasn't. So these bots know exactly what happened, 
why it happened, and what they should do about it. They do not need your help. Let's say a VIP customer is unhappy with your product and they contact you, they tell you they want a refund. Your AI bot, that chat bot, would automatically issue the customer a refund because they understand your job is to keep your top paying customers and your job is to make your VIP clients happy. So the VIP clients are gonna love that they didn't have to wait, that they got an immediate refund and an apology, right? But that is the sort of thing that will keep clients coming back even when you've screwed up, right? It's about, I fixed the problem and I did it quickly and I gave them exactly what they wanted. That's what saves a bad interaction. Now let's quickly talk about the difference between AI workflow automation and AI workflow orchestration, right? Because they are different. Standard workflow automation is rules-based. So it follows if-then rules. Like if the customer types, where's my order? Then the chat bot will always ask, may I have your order number? Next, no matter what, every single time it's going to say, may I have your order number? It's predictable and it's task specific. So that means that standard automation, while it absolutely improves individual aspects of your workflow, it doesn't actually improve your workflow as a whole. It just makes a couple things about it slightly better. So. AI orchestration, on the other hand, is intelligent, it's adaptive, and it can automate entire workflows. It uses reasoning to make decisions, and then it dynamically chooses actions based on unstructured data and existing context. So it doesn't operate via rules-based logic like standard workflow automation tools. Instead, it uses every tool in your AI arsenal and all of those tools' data to figure out the best way to accomplish a specific goal. And then it's automatically gonna put its plan of attack into motion. And once again, it does all that without human intervention, right? You don't have to do anything. So AI orchestration is what makes your AI agents able to handle ambiguity, understand natural languages, and even learn from past outcomes. In other words, while standard AI automation makes one part of your job easier, AI workflow orchestration makes your entire job easier. So let's quickly take a look at a couple examples of AI orchestration in action. We're gonna start simple. You get to your front door after a long day at the office, right? Your smart door automatically unlocks. That triggers your smart camera to text a photo to your partner's phone so they know that it's just you coming through the front door and not an intruder. Your smart thermostat is gonna instantly adjust the temperature to your preferred settings while your smart lighting automatically dims. Maybe even you've got a smart oven that turns on and preheats so that you can throw in that pizza and call it a night. And all of that's happening while you're setting down your keys, while you're getting a drink of water. Uh, I'm not drinking water, I'm drinking a martini. But the point is, all that's going on and I didn't have to do anything. And one day, that robot will make my martini for me. I can't wait for that day. Now let's look at AI orchestration within a business context. So a customer messages your website chatbot and tells the virtual agent that their order hasn't arrived. Once again, they're mad. Who could have predicted it? And this time they're swearing at you. You know, they've got a few expletives thrown in and they're really furious. Your AI virtual agent thanks to AI orchestration, is gonna save the day once again. AI sentiment analysis detects the customer's frustration, understands and categorizes the request as a missing order case, and then it's gonna bump that angry customer to the front of the relevant live agent support queue. And we all pity the agent that has to talk to this person. So while this is happening, your CRM system pulls the customer's account up, your order system is gonna check the real-time delivery status of their order, and your AI agent is going to draft and send a very personalized, empathetic chat response to the customer that also includes a discount coupon and live tracking information. The customer miraculously accepts the discount and ends the interaction. 
that interaction is automatically logged across your entire system. The customer's taken out of the support queue, thank God, Live Agents Day is saved, and then a smart email tool automatically sends them a follow-up email just so they have a track record of the case. AI orchestration helps you go from using disconnected AI tools to improve a few parts of your workflow to letting AI run entire workflows, execute these workflows, and figure out the best course of action. So AI takes care of these low value, time consuming tasks that you don't really care about so that you can move on and spend more time on the tasks that do matter to you. So that's it for this installment of our three-part AI orchestration series. Please make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out the next video. And once again, all the videos in this series are linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. We know there's a billion YouTube channels you could watch and you chose ours. That really means a lot. Thank you from the CX Foundation. I am Catherine and we will see you next time.